Expressions in Black on KGW is a sponsored presentation from Heart and Hustle Productions. Since I was a child, what has always been important to me was being a truth teller. I cannot tell you something that I don't believe deep in my heart. And I expect the same from others. If someone is coming from a place of honesty, I feel we can reach any solution. My name is Adrienne C. Nelson. I'm an Oregon Supreme Court Justice, and these are my expressions in Black. When I came to Oregon, I moved here as a single parent. I was a public defender. I got involved in a variety of committees, and people started seeing me as a potential judge candidate. Judge Adrienne Nelson, she's made history joining the Oregon Supreme Court. When I got appointed, I had at my formal swearing in more people than they had ever seen before. People wanted to see different people on the bench. People wanted to see someone that they felt a connection to. For me, as a black woman in, you know, the largest, whitest city in the United States to have an African-American Supreme Court justice, it's this overwhelming feeling of, wow, you know, we have women who are doing big moves, big things here in Oregon. The justice system, it's starting to change. It's starting to look more like me. I am always mindful that my sitting on the bench means a lot to some people and changes what people think about others. To find out that Justice Nelson was the first Black Supreme Court judge in Oregon meant a lot to me, just knowing Oregon's history that doesn't really shine a light on African Americans having done something so prominent. I've always loved art. And it's very special to me that Jeremy Okai Davis had chosen me to be in his art piece. When I first started, I wanted to honor Justice Nelson first and foremost. I knew I wanted to speak to like Black history, somebody in, in the community that did really important things. And including the justice as she was graduating from college, I was playing on the idea of like so much promise ahead. His ability to create pieces that engender deep thought and conversations makes me proud that he felt that I was an image he wanted to include. Hey! <laughs> How are you doing? Good. good to see you. It's good to see you as yes. well. This is the oh. initial sketch um, with you and all of the students at Hidden Falls. It is so beautiful. <laughs> so Shadi and I met, and she wanted to know if I could be a part of this incredible Black Muse project. And I couldn't. But I said, I can't do this, but I got an idea. Do you think you could possibly do a mural at the school? Happy Valley will have its first high school named after a Black woman, Adrian C. Nelson. I didn't even realize that anybody would be interested enough in having something named after me, let alone a school. And then for the whole process of how it unfolded for it to happen, I realized that this was something bigger than me. The opportunity that having someone alive and their name being on a building, just the power behind that is an opportunity for us to move forward in progress and change and absolute excellence. We talked about making sure that this mural that's going to go up on this wall would be representative of all different types of students. And I'm so excited that a portion of them are here today, where it looks like the school that I had hoped it would be. Having the opportunity to meet with the students 
who are going to be attending the Adrian C. Nelson High School this fall was a gift. What made you agree to be in the mural? I thought it would be cool to be part of this because it can show people that everybody's different. This is kind of like a leadership role. Mm -hmm. So I want to be there to guide the incoming classes. I feel like it's also the opportunity to show like positive energy. Like growing up in a predominantly white area, you kind of feel like you could be judged or hope. Take your time. When I saw these young women open their hearts and share their pain, I realized there was much work to be done but I was also grateful for them willing to be vulnerable in this moment to show where we can reach out and connect with one another to build those bridges that we need to move forward. I really try to stay present and understand what is being asked of me. When you do that, beautiful things happen. Important things happen. Things that are meant to happen, happen. And by being who I am, I hope it opens the doors for others to be who they are. I worked really hard to get here. And I wouldn't take anything from my journey. But I'm very clear, as Michelle Obama said, that I'm an ordinary person on an extraordinary journey. Community means something to me. We have a responsibility to hold each other up. I hope by sitting in this role, I'm doing my part to make this world a little bit better than I was born into it. This sponsored program on KGW has been a community presentation of Heart and Hustle Productions.